This one's a little fun. Here we go. So they give us a previous balance of this, and we returned something, so that was deducted. Then we purchased something, and I'm finding kind of my new values over here. So I returned something, so now I have I owe this much. Um, then I purchased something, so I added that on to get that. I purchased something again, so I added this to that to get that. And then I paid $175, so I took $175 from that to get that. So these are um, the, the, the totals. Uh, so now to get that average daily balance, um, we started off at May 17th. And so on May 17th, I owed that much, and I owed that much for two days. And then on May 19th, I owed that much, and it stayed at that amount for six days. And then I owed this amount for three days, from May 25th to 28th. And then I owed this amount for six more days. So think of it as May 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, uh, June 1st, June 2nd, June 3rd. So six days there. And then my final payment, I'm assuming, is going to be June 17th, one month later than my starting guy. So to find my average daily balance, I actually have to multiply the amount I'm at, the my ending balance, by how many days I'm at that balance. So what it looks like, I've got it on my calculator here, is um, that 459.21, I stayed there for two days, right? And then I add on that uh, 396.76, and I stayed there for six days, so times six. Plus the 531.52, stayed there for three days. Plus the 577.17, stayed there for six days. Plus the 402.17, stayed there for 14 days. To get a grand uh, total of this, Divide that up by the 31 days in your month. That's my average uh, daily balance. So there's my average daily balance. Matches with theirs at 451.19. Now I have to pay interest on the average daily balance. So the interest is at a 0.015, 1.5%. Uh, so 0 0.015 times that average daily balance gives me the $6.77 cents finance charge. So that's how much I have to pay on top of um, uh, what I already owe. So my final balance is $408.94. That was quite an involved problem. So I'll kind of step out there for a second so you can see the whole thing. Had to find all these ending balances first had to find my average daily balances uh, by multiplying this times that plus this times that and so on. Found my interest by doing the amount times my average daily balance and tacking that on to find my new balance. There you go. And I'll put it back here on the calculator so you can see uh, all those calculations that were done to find that average daily balance.